So hey guys and welcome to the channel. So as you all know that the new update is coming on 18 April. And let's see everything that is coming in the new update. In the past, our in-game rewards were all over the place. I would spend so much time in the lobby clicking away like a crazy boy just to claim all kinds of rewards. I mean, talk about time well spent. Well, here's the all new season system. In this new system, each season will last three months, each with unique themes and challenges. The new season design will provide us with a clearer sense of goals and participation. Through what? Through the Triumph Tracker. Now, rank task, battle pass, and daily task will all combine into the new Triumph Tracker. Triumph Tracker is way more concentrated and efficient. You only need to focus on leveling up the Triumph Tracker and get all kinds of rewards from it. Just battle, complete tasks, level up, and get the rewards. By the way, rewards are upgraded as well. Like there's a free SSR skin in the Tracker once certain levels are reached, and way more rewards after paid Tracker is unlocked. We also know that you are tired of getting only golds in the game after you max out your levels. So in this season, we're introducing an all-new currency, Farlight Coins. Farlight Coins can be used in the Farlight Store for a variety of cosmetic items. In this update, you can use Farlight Coins to redeem Maggie's new upgradable SSR skin, Firestorm Major. And good news, Farlight Coins won't be reset, so you can save them up season after season. Now let's talk about the lobby. And let's not just talk about it, but look at it. In the lobby after this update, theme season content and the play squad info will be more prominent. New tracker text will be easily accessible as well. Know your aim, find your drive. Check out some new interactive features. Battery smooth and well optimized. Now this is why Fallout 84 is different from all other games. As if it isn't cool enough, take a look at your character and equipment right here in the lobby. Whoa! We've also simplified the starting platform. First, we've introduced a more stylish and streamlined matchmaking window. Also, you can now enter a warm-up match while you wait, instead of doing literally nothing on the platform. New update. We've made some adjustments to her skills. Her first tactical skill, Portable Scout allows her to throw a scanning device towards a target location, obtaining the enemy position. Her passive skill has now returned, granting increased damage when scoring headshots with a sniper. Additionally, she now has a brand new tactical skill, Phantom Crash. This skill allows her to put a trap earring that pops up and activates when the enemy comes close, dealing increasing damage over time within its radius. It's worth mentioning that our signature old optical camel has undergone some balancing adjustments. When groups go invisible and coordinate with teammates, it creates situations that are difficult to counter. So in this update, after casting her old, Phantom will only turn herself invisible, while providing a speed boost to teammates. But be cautious, getting too close to enemies weakens the effect. While in stealth mode, weapons will be holstered and any attack action will stop the stealth mode immediately. Phantom is ready to dive into the chaos of this update. My advice, always watch your back. There will be a new skill introduction video for Phantom. Don't miss out. In this update, our rock star Michelle has also gained a new tactical skill, Sonic Tracking. Michelle releases a scan in a fan-shaped area ahead. If enemies are detected, Michelle's cute little rabbits will appear. These rabbits are in the same numbers as the enemies and will dash towards them, slowing them down and revealing their position. You better watch out, don't get caught up. In addition to Phantom and Michelle, we've also made some adjustments to all heroes. In this update, we focused on the relationship between damage and a character speed. Typically, maintaining precise aim in intense battles is a challenge, especially when your enemies are constantly on the move. In this update, we're introducing a new mechanism of universal damage slowdown. Now, being attacked by enemies will result in a temporary reduction in movement speed. If you are in sprint or is receiving a speed buff, you're still affected but to a lesser degree. However, if a hero is performing a slide or jump action when taking damage, their speed won't be affected. This is because these movements are inertial and thus aren't impacted by the attack. Now you can aim more accurately with less pressure. 
in the battles. On the other hand, jet slide and jump will become more important for evading enemies and counter attacks. More tactical choices and combat strategy. Jet slide is also improved. Now it's even smoother and responsive. You can now cast skills while jet sliding. You can also crouch in the mid air to jet slide, which applies to both side and backward jump. This means that whether you are on the ground or in the air, you can jet slide at any time, enhancing your ability to evade attacks. We've also changed some general settings to provide a more balanced and fair experience. Previously, the balance between characters of different sizes was reflected through different base health points. Now, all characters have the same HP. Instead, we adjust balance based on the character's head and body size. For example, larger characters will receive additional damage reduction and immunity to slowing effects when hit. In this update, we've made several adjustments to firearms. We have fine-tuned the handling of all weapons, particularly focusing on their recoil and rate of fire, especially when firing from the hip. This has resulted in an increased bullet spread and a slight decrease in rate of fire make it more challenging to accurately hit enemies. Additionally, we have adjusted the assembly logic for scopes, magazines, stocks, and muzzles, categorizing them into four types, submachine gun, sniper rifle, shotguns, and rifles. This requires players to select magazine types based on the weapon category. If your long-term strategy involves using a sniper rifle, collecting sniper rifle attachments early in the match might be a wise decision. Furthermore, as the heroes level up, they will also increase their firearm specialization level, thereby affecting the base damage of weapons. We will enhance the value of weapons and attachments found inside golden chests and evenly distribute them across the map. Don't forget to open them. Moreover, you can now cast your skills in more scenarios. For example, Amber can cast these skills while reloading. So can Bo, Captain, Phantom, and Watchman with their skills. The new map Thunder Realms has been out for a while now, and we're still improving it. We noticed that some strongholds did not foster enough intense battles and mobility, which was not what we wanted. So firstly, we've added jump pads and zip lines, again, to add more vertical and horizontal depth to battles. Next, we've simplified the map display. We removed some text info such as task, vehicle switch, and high value resources area. Instead, they are replaced with more intuitive event prompts. You can now quickly understand what's happening on the map and make decisions more timely. Lastly, we've optimized the display of the minimap as well as some UI elements. There are also some important new things and adjustments coming to the map. First, the revive system will have a new mechanism. When the first shrinkage occurs, respawners will be disabled. Upon your first death, you must wait for the entire team to be eliminated before returning to the battlefield together. Or you can respawn after waiting for a maximum of 60 seconds. Also, introducing a brand new device. Revival device. Did this happen to you? Your teammate died far away and it's just not possible to revive them in time. This will be addressed in the new revive system. The revival device can revive all fallen teammates, no matter where they died. However, after the teammates are revived, the revival device will slowly disappear and cannot be used again. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, this means you can ambush your enemies and the revival device. Perhaps they're already on the way to revive their teammates. Fights will be more intense. There's also a new game element in the game, extended item, which will enhance your combat and survival abilities. These items are magazine pouch, medical container, and shield storage. Each of them can increase the maximum number of items you can carry. Equip a magazine pouch and you'll get more ammo capacity. Equip a medical container and you'll get more medical kit capacity, and so on and so forth. These extended items come in different qualities. Higher quality items provide more carry capacity and additional attributes. For example, while the highest level medical container and shield storage can accelerate the use of medical kits and shield chargers. Finally, there's a helmet feature. You no longer have to worry about getting headshots from afar without any protection. The theme of this season's advanced tracker is Rebel BFFs. This tracker will be introducing the first ever UR Hero skin and a weapon skin. Let's take a look. UR Hero skin, Captain, top style. 
Whoa, that's a bad, bad boy. You are a weapon skin, Stella Wind, furry bully. Surviving on the streets requires more than just words. This is our skin, Momoi, Spades Lady. Squirrel girl Momoi seems to be hiding some secrets. This is our weapon skin, Invader, Nova Nightmare. Aim steadily, fire hard. More SSR skins of VSS7, loot box, jetpacks, and so many other SR skins. All included in the advanced tracker, which is worth 12.99 diamonds, and you will get it for free. By the way, Freddy's also got a new UR skin in the lottery event. UR skin Freddy Aurora Excursion. Next up are some system related changes. High ping issues in certain regions will get better. You will get more local matches depending on your region. We also noticed there is some imbalance between 3 player and 4 player sport mode, and only 20% of players would choose 4 player sport mode, which is way lower than the 3 player sport mode. At the same time, in order to shorten matchmaking times and gather more players, the 4 player sport mode will be suspended. 